WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Larry Pesavento for TFNN, and I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Uh, we've got some nice charts here from Juan Carlos Parrots, J.C. Parrots, Small Star Charts. It shows the gold based in other currencies, and you know that uh, our when you buy gold here in the United States, or you buy it in U.S. dollars. However, if you're in Europe, you buy it in euros, Australia. You buy it in Australian dollars, Italian, uh, <laughs> Indian rupees, uh, South African rand, Canadian dollar, British pounds, Swiss francs, Chinese yuan, or uh, the Japanese yen. As you can see, the Japanese yen gold is by far uh, the most ex uh, expensive. This is the one down here in the right section. The reason why I bring this up, I spent a great deal of time this weekend looking at the price of gold, and I thought that we were near a potential turning point. It might just be a tradable high, but it could be a pretty good one. Now, we went above that by a little bit, but I'll explain that when we get into the regular part of this. But what I wanted to do was to give you a little bit of heads up. I've been trading gold since it started trading in 1972. Uh, 1976, I went to work for Drexel from 76 to 82, and gold and silver was probably the most active thing that I traded. Treasury bonds didn't get started traded till 76, and they didn't really get popular until about another year or two later. So gold was one of the more popular things that we traded gold and silver. So I wanted to tell you that, you know, remember when gold uh, made its bottom, uh, you can't count that $35 an ounce stuff. That was bogus. But actually the bottom in gold was about $108. That's where it was actually trading. Dixon took us off the gold standard in 71, I believe, and that when he took the Bretton Woods Agreement off where no dollars would be backed in gold anymore, and that sent gold moving. It went from $100, to, topped in January 20th at 860, uh, January 20th of 1980 at $864 an ounce, and from then it went down for 20 years, folks, 20 years, from $800 down to $240 in the 2001 uh, that's when Mr. Tom O'Brien came out and became a giant gold bug, and you can see what's happened. Anyway, when we get back. Our guest today will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. When we get back, we're going to go over some charts here about what's happening in these markets and see if it'll help. So stay with us.